Hello. Well, I finally did it. I bought a 3D printer. This is the Creality Ender 5 Plus. And uh, this is my first uh, 3D printer that I've owned. I know there's lots of reviews about these, but uh, there are some aspects that I really couldn't find online, and so I'm going to go through some of those issues. I've only done a couple of prints on this, and uh, you can see that this is sitting in my workroom right next to my desktop computer right here. And uh, the first thing is, it's really loud. <laughs> um, it makes a lot of noise when it's running. And so, uh, loud enough that I didn't want to be in the same room with it while I'm working. So, I am going to do a upgrade to this and we will see if it uh, helps it any. So what I did, I purchased a what's called the silent motherboard and the driver chips on here are made by Trinamic and they are supposed to be the cat's meow to quiet this machine down. So I saw you know quite a few reviews where people have said it's quieter but um, is it really worth it? Uh, I'll make some measurements and we will see. So I'll do a, uh, a test print wider and I'll keep my camera um, at the same distance. And uh, that distance right now is approximately one meter to the face of this um, display. So you might ask, how come I bought such a large printer for my first printer? Well, I've got two projects I'm working on right now. And one uh, project is small, doesn't require less large of a printer. It's a, a planar magnetic headphone. And um, this actually is my first print off of, off of this machine. And the other project I'm working on is a lighting fixture and uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I've been doing this for a really long time and I want to print this frame. This and big honking circuit board and uh, it's got some cool aspects I think. For this uh, test that we're going to do on how loud the machine is, I'll be using this little prototype headphone part so that's kind of funny. We're doing acoustical tests on a machine that we're making a acoustical part. Um, my son is doing these drawings in SolidWorks and uh, he emailed me the files and then I converted the files into uh, using the SolidWorks eDrawing free viewer into a STL file and then that is convert, uh, converted into the G-code and I'm using the Creality Slicer. Here's what it sounds like with the original board as it's actively printing. just finished the print where we're going to make the comparison. I've got the control box open here now and uh, the board's connectors are in identical uh, locations or at least the silk screen show that they're identical. So I'm going to just pull off one connector at a time and swap out the uh, each cable assembly. I've seen some discussion about this unit in uh, what type of power supply it uses. And, uh, it does have a Meanwell power supply. It's the RSP500-24, so that's going to be a 500 watt, 24 volt supply. And uh, Meanwell has a decent reputation. 
so I guess there's just some concern of whether it has a reliable power supply or not. Uh, I would believe that this is a reliable power supply. There's also some discussion of whether the units are uh, properly assembled as far as earth ground. I have previously checked this one and it is wired correctly, but what you can do is I've got, this is the plug, and I'm just going to check the earth ground here to the chassis ground. And we have continuity, so this chassis is earth grounded, it's connected to the plug, the AC, you know, the AC's ground, and so once this is all bolted in, the chassis will also be earth grounded. So well, the uh, swap is complete, and uh, we will uh, flip this over and uh, turn it on and see what it does. I'm a believer. It's printing right now, and you can't even hear the motors. It's uh, motors are all dead quiet. Only noise now, pretty much, is the fan on the uh, Meanwhile power supply. It's uh, pretty incredible. So, I estimate it probably took me 30 minutes to take the system apart, get the new board in, and uh, get it all buttoned back up. Worked first try. Pretty neat. So, you can see it printing there. No motor noise. So earlier we were seeing uh, close to 64 dB of noise at about this point. I'll stop talking. About 54 dB now. So roughly 10 dB quieter. I was curious how much power this printer is taking while it's running and so I hooked up at this uh, kilowatt meter and let it run for 24 hours. Uh, during that time I was printing for about 16 hours and my peak power was 518 watts, 66 watts while it's printing and not heating the bed and 11 watts idle. now printing that uh, large frame that I mentioned earlier and uh, I'm a believer this silent board for the Ender 5 Plus is really silent you can't even hear the motors running at all uh, it's pretty incredible it's now acceptable to have this thing running next to uh, my workstation well, that's uh, about it. I just wanted to try to show if there's any differences between the two boards, and there really is. Uh, thanks for watching.